This is Richard Lynch, you're watching ILoveLimerick.com and today we're here to talk about the Limerick Corridor Art Programme. Why did you start it? We started initially because there wasn't any art in the south side of the city. There was no culture of any, any description that the children had been engaged in. There was no f f artwork whatsoever, no galleries. The programme really is here to engage children in art-related programmes getting them to mix with people that they wouldn't always come into contact with, business, culture, history, education, it's a whole host of different areas. The programme started in 2007 with five children on a horse in a corridor outside the room here and the first horse was called Bubbles and Bubbles was a huge success and the children wanted to do more horses. So now at the moment we have 20 large-scale murals on the corridor outside here. Of the Limerick Enterprise Development the Limerick Program. Enterprise Development. And from there then we were asked uh, to do a collaborative work with the Hunt Museum on the horse outside, which was last year, our first horse outside. And two different groups, South Hill Outreach and the Ross Bryan School Completion Programme. From there, we're now on to our second horse outside, and we have the South Hill Outreach back again, and the Limerick Youth Service. So this is really part of a community outreach programme on behalf of the Hunt Museum to get involved with a programme like this. Can you tell me what way do you think this programme changes these kids' lives? We want to inspire people from as broad a range of backgrounds, as broad a range of places as possible, and it just was you know, so natural for us to want to participate and support project like the Corridor Arts Project which is doing such fantastic things with young people that you know we really just wanted to to be involved um, in whatever way that we could. They come back to the museum on several occasions actually to work through their ideas to sketchbook um, and to take photographs and do drawings so that they can sort of revisit those those objects and revisit their favorite locations and their favorite spots in the museum to, to sort of have those spots inspire their creativity a bit more. Now this is the second horse we're about to unveil here. The first its cousin is sitting down in the hunt. Is there going to be a third horse and a fourth horse? Uh, funding permitting, we'll you know we'll do as many horses as we can. Um, you know there are so many groups and so many people that we just want everybody to get involved in the museum. You know we, we like to think of the museum as a museum without walls. So the more people we can get involved in projects and the more projects we can support, you know the better and the happier we are. Now Angela, where do you get your funding? How are you funding this project? Um. We have very little funding, um, constantly looking for funding, constantly applying for funding and as a matter of fact the funding for this project at the moment extends to 200 euro and very little funding so anyone that's out there willing to sponsor us or even a leg of a horse at this stage would be absolutely delighted. Hi everyone, I just want to thank you all for coming here this evening and welcome you here to the first unwrapping of the second horse outside. It's a very exciting occasion for us and you're about to see a real pristine white stallion underneath all this carver to any minute. Why did you want to get involved with the Corridor Art Programme? Uh, I think because there's a, a love of horses and there's a love of art with the young people that we work with and really this project was a combination of both. They're taking a horse which is traditionally a symbol of something in Limerick that goes back years and years and years like that movie Into the West ah, and they're yeah. creating art out of it. Yeah, and they, they, Yes they are and they, 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 it was a concept that they really seemed to get into then combined with the artefacts from the Hunt Museum um, it was something that I, I, I haven't seen such positive responses in young people in quite some considerable time. And you think this is changing these young people's lives? 
it has been a huge event for them, which they wouldn't normally, um, there wouldn't be normally a huge celebration of their achievements. And this to them, uh, just listening to them talking, has been really, really great. But Lynn, why did you get involved with the, the Corridor Art Program? The Corridor Art Program and South of Lightreach have actually been working closely for the last three years. We were involved initially in one of the horses outside in the corridor, which would the name of the project came from. The ones on the wall, the mural. In the murals in the hall, yeah. We were actually involved in the project last year, the first horse outside project. And then Angela invited us to re-engage this year, which obviously we jumped at the opportunity to have the involvement with them in the hunt. Next time we see this horse, it's white fiberglass now, is going to be at the Hunt Museum yes. and it's going to be all painted up by, the, by all the kids involved in the project. What are they going to paint it up with this year? Uh, there's a religious theme this year. We have spiritual. Spiritual. And we've kind of gone more, I think, for the religious colours as such. So that's where the religious comes for me. But it's going to be red and kind of gold, I think, with a little bit of an earthy green. So we haven't really decided exactly what's going to be on it. But there's three very different ideas. So I, it'll be interesting. Next time when you see this horse, it's going to be painted up outside the Hunt Museum. We'll see you in a bit.